Good day to each and everyone, and welcome to my channel, the Alex Ducks TV. And today we'll be discussing about the somatic test. As we all know, that somatic test is very important when assessing the pupil's achievement. It occurs at the end of a unit, chapter or term is commonly associated with the final projects standardized test or district benchmarks typically heavily weighted and graded evaluates what the students has learned and how much they understand the lesson evaluates what students mm -hmm. learned covers complete content areas Science a grade to students understanding emphasizes the product of student learning and here are the examples of the summative assessment end of unit or chapter tests standardized test final projects or portfolio and achievement tests. Teachers and administrators use the final result to assess students' progress and to evaluate schools and districts. For teachers, this could mean changing how you teach a certain unit or a chapter. For administrators, this data could help clarify which program required tweaking or removal. When is the summative assessment happen? As we all know, the summative assessment after the reassessment, formative, and then the summative. As we all know, pre-assessment is what do you know. We have to test the pupils or students by screening, diagnostic test, KWL. Inventories, observations, anticipation guide, concept map, and others. So the pre-assessment is the formative assessment, which is to test what are your learning. So this time, we have to test our pupils or learners by checking for understanding, portfolio, journal, quiz, observations, anecdotal record, exit slips, data from, guided practice, and others. And the last one is the summative test. So it usually happen after the unit or chapter. This time we have to test our pupils what have they learned. It includes evaluation, projects, test, exams, demonstrations, portfolio, final performance, composition, and others. And here is a summary and diagram of giving summative assessment. And here are also the most important thing in conducting a summative assessment, which is the five major features that we should know. First is authenticity. A test should examine real-world applications. It's a need for the students to memorize facts. Comprehend the material in order for it to be helpful later in life. The second most important thing is reliability. Tests should be given in some of the assessment, should hold up in another setting or with another set of students. Implies consistently produces similar results when given under similar conditions. Be reliable in every situation. The volume. Another thing is volume. Determine the level of learning that has been achieved. Too much volume leads to testing fatigue for both teachers and students and can inadvertently cause the quality of the testing to suffer. 
we have validity. Learning goals before teaching a particular topic or in a certain time frame. Validity does not exclude valuable students-led discussions from teaching modules, but educators should test strictly on the aspired outcomes. The last but not the least is variety. Motive assessment, we should focus the domains. We have the cognitive, psychomotor, and effective. These include group presentations, work portfolios, research papers, and pencil and paper testing. How to do the summative assessment? And here is the situation. Teacher Salvador wants to provide summative assessment to learners in grade 4 mathematical at the end of the quarter. He hopes to measure the growth of learners in applying the four fundamental operations involving fractions and decimals in mathematical problems. He provides several summative assessment strategies. Strategy number one, one on one. He meets the learners physically, provides evidence to support learners' understanding for a better outcomes, and interview the learners. The second strategy is checklist. The teacher uses checklist to record observations of learners' learning, provides support for evidences gathered, and provides evidences of the learners' mastered skills. The last one is the performance task, which the teacher gives a group game. The learners are asked to solve several mathematical problems involving fractions and decimals using some food products sold in the canteen. Each group will be given problem sheets to solve using products. The group to finish first will be declared as winner. The rules and rubrics of the games will be discussed thoroughly by the teacher. And here are the examples of the summative test or summative assessment. Acting, artwork, vlog, chapter tests, comic books, demonstrations, diorama, debates, experiments, games, goal setting, mind maps, models, oral, articles, newspaper, performance task, picture books, acting, compare and contrast, poems, portfolios, posters, PowerPoint presentations, projects, puppet plays, puzzles, journal, role plays, sequels, songs, speeches, survey, and web pages, and others.